I'm going to show you how to make a vest or an undershirt like this one. Good morning beautiful people, I'm Alex and this is Gingerhead & Co, my sewing vlog. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vest or an undershirt or as I call it a tank top or simply a top. Well it's going to be the one that I'm wearing. The one that I'm wearing is going to be, well, is being made in the tutorials that you are going to see. So that's the vest. It's finished with ribbing, it's top stitched and uh, it's hemmed using the cover stitch. There are going to be three parts uh, of the tutorial and today, part one, I'm going to show you how to make the vest, so how to sew the shoulder seams and the side seams and how to finish the neckline and the armholes with uh, the ribbing. I'm going to do it on my overlocker. It could be done on any domestic sewing machine as long as it's got a zigzag stitch or any stretch stitch. Also, because I'm using French Terry 240 grams uh, per meter, so it's quite sturdy, and it's got brilliant recovery, it doesn't stretch. I do not strengthen the, the seams. I'm going to show you how to do that in another tutorial, but if you are using viscose jersey, or if you are using um, cotton jersey that doesn't have great recovery, I would strongly recommend to strengthen your, your um, seams. So to add something to the seams, like clear elastic to keep it in, in shape as you wash it. So today is going to be the first part of uh, making the vest and I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to show you how to sew a vest or a tank top and I've cut out the front and the back. That's the front. That's the back. And you, well, I'm going to use my overlocker, but if you don't have, or you don't like using your overlocker, obviously you can do it on your sewing machine. Um, it could be done on a normal, um, well, straight stitch machine, but not with a straight stitch, preferably with a zigzag or any um, stretch stitch right okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach the shoulders first one and the other then i'm going to sew the side seams and then i'm going to attach the ribbing to finish the neckline and the armholes and uh, I'm going to top stitch, but that's going to be another video because I need another setup for that. <laughs> right, so first we are sewing the shoulder seams, both of them. Then the side seams, I'm not going to stop and, and talk to you if you don't mind, because it's going to take forever. And I saw my um, shoulder seams in one direction. So I sew from, from the back to the neckline, but obviously you can do it well in whatever way you want, you prefer. It doesn't really matter in a garment such as this one if you sew in one direction, really. But I still prefer to do it like that. Then the side seams, okay? Well, trying to match any notches if we have any notches or half of the, the side seam if you know where your half is under the foot and hopefully you can see it better I'm trying to match the edges so the edges are even I'm trying not to cut off as well I'm trying to cut off as little as possible and go yeah. And 
and I've passed the half so I'm matching the end right they should be matching here So the fabric is quite tight you can also lift it a bit to make sure that it matches and it should be all right the other side seam under the foot I'll determine where my half is because it's easier and go pretty much well done the seams we are going to attach the ribbing so first we need to make a loop so that's my armhole binding made of ribbing it's rather stretchy so right sides together I'm going to make a loop and because um, I haven't changed the thread it's going to be white so you're going to see that So two of those. And the neckline. My neckline is slightly wider, but also right sides together, matching the edges. Making the loop. And now I'm going to start with uh, the neck band. I'm folding it in half, wrong sides together, matching the seam, which is very white. I would normally change this red, it doesn't look that great, but it doesn't matter. Right, I'm dividing my loop, my neck band, in half, and I'll use a clip. A clip. You can make a notch. Then my neckline, and because I don't start from the centre front, I start with a seam at the back. I'm matching one of the shoulder seams with this seam. With this seam. So I'm going to divide my neckline in half as well. And we're going to, that's the half of my neckline. You can make a notch or you can clip it together. I would normally make a notch, but then you can't see anything. <laughs> so that's half of the... And I would make a notch because it's just faster to make a notch than to clip anything. But oh well. So I start with the shoulder seam. I match the shoulder seam with the seam of the band under the foot, matching the seams, matching the seams in the seam allowance making sure that the edges are even. Not pulling just yet, because I was going through the seam. If you have a domestic overlocker that has problems with uh, going through the seams, if the seams are bulky, you can hammer it a bit, or you can just flatten the seam. But that shouldn't really be a problem, maybe something bulkier. And now I'm pulling slightly. So my ribbing is inside, my neckline is against the feed dogs. I'm pulling a bit, checking if everything is fine, if it's going to be distributed evenly, and it is.
the ne neck band is on now, the armhole band. I've got two. They're narrower. Okay, so again, um, folding them, them in half. Like that. And uh, the wrong sides are together. This seam against this seam. Raw, raw edges together. And I'm placing mine inside my garment so that the garment is against the feed dogs because the garment is bigger. So the feed dogs are going to help me is the garment into my ribbing. Matching the seams, you can distribute the, the bulk by placing the one seam one way, the other, well, seam allowance, one in one direction, the other in the other direction. And let's go. And I'm pulling the ribbing gently. Not pulling the fabric. Checking how it looks like. It looks all right. One done. Checking if it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. And the other one, and I need to neaten that because we don't want any thread. So another armhole band. We fold it in half, wrong sides together. So we've got the right side of the ribbing. And uh, let's go. The garment is against the feed dogs. First going slowly through the seam because we want the seams too much. Not pulling anything. And now remember to fold your, your ribbing. Pulling gently and let's go. Row edges are lined up. Checking if it's going to be Nice and smooth. So that's our vest done, but we are going to top stitch it. I'm going to top stitch using uh, my cover stitch, but this is going to be another video because I need some time to set it up. And I'm going to ham it with the cover stitch as well. But even as it is, it sits flat. And the armholes. So I'm going to top stitch and I'm going to hem the t-shirt, the top. <laughs> 